So, you've just done a clean install of Windows 11. Nice and fresh. But you're not done yet. There are critical steps you must take right after setup to avoid performance issues, security risks, and annoying bugs. Let's walk through it, step by step. All right, so let's talk about something most people completely forget right after installing Windows 11. Backing up your BitLocker recovery key. Now, if you're not familiar, BitLocker is Microsoft's built-in drive encryption tool. It keeps your data safe in case someone steals your laptop or tries to access your hard drive without your permission. Pretty awesome, right? But here's the catch. Once BitLocker is turned on, usually by default on modern systems, it locks your drive with encryption. And if something ever goes wrong, like if your motherboard fails, you reset BIOS or move the drive to another PC, Windows is going to ask for a special 48-digit recovery key. And if you don't have that key, you're locked out permanently. I've seen people lose entire systems this way. It's not fun. So the smart move right now is to back up your BitLocker recovery key. To find and back up your BitLocker recovery key, start by signing into your Microsoft account online. Once you're signed in, go to the Devices section and look for Manage BitLocker Keys. There, you'll find a list of recovery keys linked to your devices. Each key has a unique ID that matches the one shown on your computer when BitLocker requires recovery access. For safekeeping, we recommend printing the key and storing it in a secure location or saving it to a USB drive that you keep separate from your PC. Another option is to take a photo of the key with your phone. Just make sure the photo is backed up to a secure cloud service or another device in case you lose access to your phone. So don't skip this. It takes less than a minute and can literally save your data down the line. Trust me, in future, you will thank you. Also, you should check for Windows updates. Even after a clean install, your system could be missing critical security patches and drivers. Go to Settings, then Windows Update. Click Check for Updates. After it is done checking and find some updates, install everything. Then restart the PC when prompted. You should also enable System Restore and set up a System Restore point so you can roll back if something goes wrong. System Restore must be enabled on the drive, usually the C drive. It's off by default on some versions like Windows 11 Home Edition. System Restore in Windows does automatically create restore points, but you can always manually create restore points. You should also activate Windows if it is not yet activated. Activating Windows 11 is important because it unlocks full functionality, ensures you're using a genuine copy, and gives access to critical updates and personalization features. Features like BitLocker, Group Policy Editor, or Remote Desktop may not work right in unactivated or improperly activated systems. So. What happens if you don't activate? Windows 11 will still work, but with annoying limitations. You'll be reminded constantly and no personalization and possibly limited access to future features. Next, install essential drivers. Next, make sure all your hardware drivers are up to date. While Windows 11 installs basic drivers, some may be missing or outdated. Open Device Manager, look for any yellow warning icons, and right-click to update drivers. For best results, visit your PC manufacturer's website, like Dell, HP, or Lenovo, or your motherboard's support page to download the latest drivers manually. Windows uses basic drivers from Microsoft that are designed to be one-size-fits-all. These drivers might work, but they won't unlock the full potential of your hardware.
By default, Windows 11 plays it safe with power settings. Maybe a little too safe if you're after top performance. After a fresh install, it usually sets your system to balanced mode, which tries to conserve energy by throttling your CPU and other components. To unlock more speed, go to Settings, then System, then Power and Battery, then expand the Power Mode section. On desktops and on laptops when plugged in, switch to Best Performance. This mode uses more power, but your system will feel faster and more responsive right away. If you're using a laptop on battery, you might prefer to stick with Balanced, or choose Best Power Efficiency, depending on how long you need the battery to last. In short, tweaking your power mode is a quick win for better performance, especially on clean installs. While you're in the power and battery settings, take a moment to check the energy saver options. By default, it kicks in when your battery hits 30%, which might be a bit too soon, especially if you're usually close to a charger. Personally, I've found that tweaking this setting helps extend battery life without noticeably impacting performance. It's a small change, but it can make a big difference in how your laptop handles longer sessions away from power. If you're not a fan of Microsoft Edge, now's the time to grab your favorite browser, like Chrome, Firefox, or Brave. Just search and install it from Edge. A fresh install of Windows 11 comes with notifications in Overdrive. It feels like every app is fighting for your attention, from random news alerts to tips about features you'll probably never use. Give it a few days, and the non-stop pop-ups can start to drive you crazy. Head to Settings, click on System, then Notifications, and start trimming the noise. Turn off what you don't need, you'll thank yourself later. Microsoft's default privacy settings are, let's just say, a bit too generous when it comes to data collection. Right after a fresh install, you're automatically opted into things like diagnostic reporting, personalized ads, tailored experiences, and more. While some of this does help improve Windows, you might not be comfortable sharing that much. Don't worry, I'll show you a handy utility later that makes managing your privacy settings a whole lot easier. After setting up Windows 11, your system is basically a blank slate. Clean, but missing a lot of the tools you actually need to get work done, stay safe, or even just browse the web efficiently. Installing your go-to apps right after setup saves time later, ensures you're secure and productive from the start, and helps you avoid bad habits like downloading from shady websites. 7-Zip, which is free, will help in extracting zip, RAR, ISO, and other formats. VLC Media Player plays just about anything, including DVDs. Only Office is a powerful, modern alternative to Microsoft Office. This can help if you do not have Microsoft Office yet. You don't need a license or subscription. It's completely free to use. It looks and feels similar to Microsoft Office, so the learning curve is minimal. Ribbon-style UI, tabbed documents, and responsive design make it easy to use. You can use ShareX for screenshots and screen recordings. ShareX is one of the best free and open source tools for screen capture and productivity. I prefer GreenShot myself for screenshots. If you're looking for a solid password manager, Bitwarden is a great choice. It's open source, secure, and syncs across devices. But if you prefer something that works 100% offline with no cloud syncing at all, go with KeePass XC. It stores everything locally on your device, giving you full control over your data. Windows Defender has actually come a long way. It's built right into Windows 11 and gives you solid, 
real-time protection against viruses and most threats. Honestly, for a lot of people, it's good enough on its own. But here's the thing. Defender doesn't catch everything. That's where Malwarebytes Free comes in. It's not meant to replace your antivirus, but it's meant to work alongside it. And it's really good at catching things like PUPs, potentially unwanted programs, adware, browser hijackers, and even some zero-day malware that traditional antivirus might miss. Windows 11 looks sleek and runs great, but out of the box it's also really chatty. It collects a lot of data by default, from diagnostics to location, typing history, even what you do in apps. If that makes you uncomfortable, you're not alone. That's where O and O Shut Up 10 Plus Plus comes in. This tiny free tool gives you full control over Windows 11's hidden privacy settings, all in one place, without you digging through 10 different menus. Windows 11 looks polished, but let's be honest, Microsoft took away a lot of customization options and buried useful settings. Want the classic context menu back? Want to disable telemetry or tweak hidden features? You can't do that easily with stock Windows tools. That's where Winero Tweaker shines. It's a free, lightweight utility that unlocks tons of hidden Windows settings, all in one clean interface. If you want to truly make Windows 11 yours, Winero Tweaker is a must. It gives you back the control Microsoft keeps taking away. And the best part? It's totally free with no junk bundled in. That's it. Your Windows 11 is now secure, optimized, and ready to go. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more Windows tips and tricks. See you in the next video.